hey guys i am back with another video um i am doing this one from the bed and i'm sorry for being a little late with these videos i need to go ahead and finish out this mini series with you guys um i have been preparing for inktober and it has taken over my life okay so um here i wanted to do a little bit of background on laura freya's best friend because i actually may do another mini series with freya and laura and so i wanted to as i was drawing her i just started to really build like a detailed background with her I, th I feel like it's almost more detailed than Freya, but um, anyway, let's let's get into it. So I wanted Laura to be where um, her and Freya are almost like opposites because in most relationships, opposites attract. Um, and whereas Freya is, um, she's more like a bubbly, romantic, she's, you know, bright and airy and you know she's an she's optimistic and 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 you know she's just oh my goodness you know she just believes in you know she believes in love and, and everything like that Laura is the opposite Laura is what for Freya would be her real that realistic friend that brings you back to reality that's what Laura that's what Laura is that's how I um imagined her and so um at their school you know, she is the top of her class. She is a dark arts witch. She is very good at it, but she does not use, you know, her knowledge of dark arts for, you know, bad reasons. She, um, she's just very, very great at it, but she's also good with everything else. Like I wanted Laura to be that know-it-all when it comes to casting spells making spells knowing spells and and different things like that because laura actually helped freya to come up with her her spell you know she sort of gave her a few you know a few pointers a few you know things like that for freya to be able to come up with her spell her love spell even though in actuality laura does not even believe in love so um She's also, you know, she's one of those, she's one of those sarcastic ones. She's the one that, you know, oh, you might believe that you could do this or whatever like that. And Laura is that person that is going to run you the diagnostics of why maybe that won't work and how that may not even be possible. And, you know, all of the negatives that could possibly be in that. But for Freya is what she's always needed and and Laura has that soft spot for Freya and all of her bubble, her bubbly nature. <laughs> and for her, her real, you know, her real love for having that real love, you know, and that real person that is just for her. And so, um, Laura also is in love with Harry Potter, as many of us probably are. Um, I grew up on Harry Potter books and I watched all of the movies. And so I really felt like Laura probably would fall into the Slytherin um, house. And so that is the house that she, um, I have, you know, where it's like, that's the house that she would choose for herself because she's a, she's a Harry Potter fanatic. Um, her powers are um, that she can read minds. And she also does tarot cards as a side hustle. <laughs> so I wanted to just make her, um, I don't know why I got so like just into detail with Laura when it was really like, let me just sort of show you guys what she more so looks like. Because in the last um, comic that I did, you know, she was just like this little, little mini person you know not too much detail or anything and so I just sort of wanted to go in detail with her and as I started making a background about her and and everything I just sort of got like real detail okay and so I feel like I could make like maybe a couple more series between her and Freya because it is gonna take the both of them to you know help each other to fight against the beast um, you know, in the rest of our series, which I am putting up, you guys, I promise. Um, I don't know for sure if I'm going to do um, um, a mini video like this one for Vendith. I'm still trying to think about it because, guys, literally Inktober is tomorrow. So, um, yeah. I think I did already say that um, Laura and Freya are best friends, but they have been best friends since sixth grade. I wanted to really um, make it where their relationship 
is just like peanut peanut butter and jelly. You know, this is this is not like a friend that she just, you know, decided, you know, just end up getting a couple years ago while they were at school together. Because also um, in the series, the girls, um, they are at an academy and they all have their 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 separate witch cottages. And that is why the girls don't live together, but they do live right across the street from each other. Um, but with 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 the way with the characteristics that Laura has, Freya is so used to them that she knows, you know, how she knows that through Laura's sarcasm and maybe some of her negative comments that it's love, you know, and that that's that's her looking out for you and different stuff because usually that is what that is usually what you're dealing with when you do have a realistic friend that is like that because I believe we all have that one friend that is like that you know and it's really them just sometimes just out of love making sure that you don't make um those crazy decisions or have you thought about that completely crazy decision because it is in fact a crazy decision to come up with a love spell um to create you know a you know a true love that is just for you and then when he comes he is this <clears throat> he is this scarecrow that has been created you know um for you you know which i just feel like is so cute and so so funny in a dark way but um yes guys i am going to go ahead and um i'm think i'm i'm still going to be releasing my inktober series on time because i am so excited for that guys and when i tell y'all like i have been putting my all into it like it's everything okay like your girl was snapping okay like seriously so I'm so excited to be able to share that. And so um, I will still be continuing my mini series, even though I am late. But listen, I work on my own time. OK, like, baby, please. Like, so what? You know, I know I'm late. I know I'm late, but I am still going to release the last two episodes. And I think I'm still going to do a background on Vendith, you know, because I feel like I want to use these characters again um, for another series because I love... Um, the story making behind the characters you know because I love looking at other people's characters and seeing what type of story they could come up with it I mean that's the whole purpose of making characters I think you know so I'm definitely going to bring them back I know I am but I'm definitely starting October on time so I'm so ready to share that with you guys and I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you guys yet again in another video. Mm -hmm. 